Hello students, the Pharmacy Act 1948, I am here with part 3, the syllabus that he has to be covered. In part 3, we will be discussing the State Pharmacy Council that is its functions which includes maintenance of registers, entry and removal of names, removal of name from the register, printing of register. So, these are the functions of State Pharmacy Council that will be dealing one by one and the most important is inspection by the State uh, Council and of offenses and penalties. So, this is the part 3 that we will be discussing. Uh, constitution of State Pharmacy Council. In the first part, I have just given you the brief on the comparative basis that how is state and uh, central council are uh, built up. So, here is the detail of those points. It also consists of three different types of members that is the same elected, nominated, and ex officio. Ye part pura same hai, jaise ke hum, pehle humne central ka discuss kiya hua hai. Elected may six members elected from amongst themselves by registered pharmacists of the state. One member elected from amongst themselves by the members of each medical council of state. Waha six members kis kete subject teachers the yaha pharmacist hai wolo. Or waha par bhi one member from MCI tha yaha par bhi one member from MCI hai. Now coming to the nominated member, five members of whom at least three shall be possessing a degree or diploma in pharmacy or pharmaceutical chemistry or to be a registered pharmacist nominated by the state government. And the third is the ex officio member which includes the chief medi administrative medical officer of the state, government analyst nominated by state government under the Drug and Cosmetic Act 1940, officer in charge of drug controller organization of the state. So, this was the composition of state pharmacy council. Constitution of Joint Pharmacy Council that was specified for a particular state, but when we have a joint state pharmacy council that is two uh, states are working in collaboration with each other, then we have a council of as stated as joint state pharmacy council. In registered pharmacist, we have registered pharmacist 3 to 5 from each state instead of 6 in a single state council. Uh, we were having single pharmacy pharmacist in the state council, but when we have a joint state pharmacy council, it is a combination of each state. Like we have two states, you can say uh, UP and MP, then there will be three from UP and three for MP. So, that it will compose six members. Government nominees two to four from each state instead of five. Medical council nominee one from each state and chief administrative medical officer government analyst and officer in charge and drug controller ex officio members from each state. Yes, are members aapke appoint hote hai to form a joint state pharmacy council. What is the function? The states while entering into an agreement determines as to which of the participating government shall exercise various functions of the state government under the act the amount of expenditure to be shared between the states. So, all these points are decided before the council comes into the act or function it is or it is functionable. Now, coming to the state pharmacy council, we have already discussed the composition of the both that is state pharmacy council and joint state pharmacy council. Now, coming to state pharmacy council, uh, some points about it. Each council has a president and a vice president elected by the members from amongst themselves provided that for 5 years. It is same that the tenure of the council is for 5 years and then we the members are eligible for renomination or re-election. The president will be nominated by the state government and if it, he is not already a member, he becomes a member of the council in addition. The state council are before the end of June in each year required to pay to the PCI a sum of equivalent to one fourth of the fees. So, they have to pay an amount of one fourth of the fees that at the end of the June month in each year. Now, coming to the functions, there were main four main functions that is maintenance of register and what is register? Here, let me explain you in brief and that we will be discussing in detail after few slides. That is what is register? First of all the point is what is register? Register is a 
notebook you can say or a document in which the names of the registered pharmacists is mentioned. So, who are the registered pharmacists? Those who have completed their degree or diploma in pharmacy and have applied to that particular state for the registration, then they have a green booklet which is called that and a certificate as a registered pharmacist mentioning it that we are registered pharmacists, pharmacist and eligible to dispense drug. So, the names of such person which is written in that register is termed as register. So, now it is clear that what is the register and what is the maintenance of register. Let us see it in detail. The register shall include the following particulars namely the full name, the residential address of the registered person, the date of his her first admission to the register, his her qualification for registration, his professional address and if he is employed by any person, the name of such person. Further point to be added, if your license is being used somewhere or you are appointed as a registered pharmacist in a some pharmacy, then the name of the employee that is written now, uh, his professional address and if he is employed by any person, the name of such person, the owner, the name of the owner is also being mentioned there. Now, entry and removal of names that what are the particular particulars on basis of which there is removal of names or entry of the names of those registered pharmacists. After an appointed date, all the applications for registration should be addressed to the registrar of the pharmacy, state pharmacy council. The applicant has the requisite qualification for registration, he may direct his name or her name to be entered in the register. That how we apply person whose name has been removed from the register of the other state shall not be entitled or registration to registration unless the state council gives its consent thereto. That is, uh, see what happens that when you will complete your degree in uh, pharmacy, then after 4 years you have all your documents entitling you that you have completed your degree in pharmacy. Then taking your those documents, you have to move to the state pharmacy council. So, you are in a state, UP state. So, where is the office of UP state pharmacy council? It is in Lucknow. That is RF Ashiana building which is uh, situated in uh, Chalk. So, you have to take all your documents and you have to move to that place. Then you have the requisite, over here it is written the application has the requisite qualification. Then you have, you will be given a form with which you have to uh, uh, submit all your documents with photographs and all and it will be uh, gone to whom the state registrar of the state pharmacy council. The person who is sitting there will verify your documents, will verify your file and check it and then will keep it and will produce a certificate to be given to you. So, it will the whole process is of around 3 to 4 months in which after submitting your file the documents are being verified by your college as well as university and also from your registrar that after fulfilling all the conditions and uh, norms the document is prepared producing the certificate and it will come to your house or the residential address that you have mentioned in that file. So, this is the process that how do you get your uh, registration. So, this is that entry and removal of names that if your name is not from the approved college of PCI or at college level something is not proper or at uh, uh, registrar level something doc some documents are incomplete, then your name has to has not can, cannot be entered into the register. Upon the entry of the name of the person in the register, the registrar is required to issue to him the certificate of registration in the prescribed form. Now, we just explained what I have told you. On payment of the fees, a point will get the fees that is minimum, I think so, it was 700 about my time. So, on amount, a payment of fees, the registrar is required to issue a receipt thereof, and such receipts are deemed to be proofs of renewal or renewal of registration that you have to keep it with yourself as a proof that you have applied and you can get the renewal, renewal of your certificate also. Removal of the name from the register, 
The name of the pharmacist may be removed from the register on the following counts that what are the points. So, uh, we will see it in detail. If his name has been registered entered in register by error, if he has been convicted of an offence in any professional respect, the objectionable conduct was instigated provoked by the pharmacist himself. The registered pharmacist during the period of 12 months preceding the offence has been guilty of the similar offence or conduct. Any person employed by the pharmacist for purposes of business or pharmacy has been guilty of similar offence during the preceding 12 months and the pharmacist had the knowledge of the offence. So, these are the counts under which the name can be removed from the register. The offence had continued over a long period and the pharmacist had knowledge of continuing offences and any pharmacist who is held guilty and whose name has been removed from the register shall continue to remain a registered pharmacist for next 3 months and only after the expiry of that period he shall cease to be a registered pharmacist. A person aggrieved by the order directing the removal of his name may appeal to the state government within 80 days those whose decision shall be final. So, within 80 days you can apply for your request for not to remove your name. A person whose name has been removed from the register is required to surrender his certificate of registration to the registrar of the pharmacy council concerned. The certificate that has been issued to prove that you are, certif you are certified pharmacist, you have to return it back. If it feels that the offence was a minor nature, it, was, it may warn the pharmacist and stop the consideration of his case for a specified period and during which the pharmacist should prove himself to be of good behaviour that you can be request and you can do this. But in cases of serious professional neglect or criminal conviction, his name may be removed. Pharmacist can however appeal to the High Court against the decision of Stout Tree Committee. You can go to the High Court and appeal for your remove uh, this act. Now this is the printing of registers. The register, this is the fourth function. First was maintenance of the register, second was uh, entry and removal of name, third was on which basis the names are being removed and the fourth is printing of register. The register of the pharmacist of the state pharmacy council were required to publish the registers on the 1st of April. Later on each year after the 1st of April they were to publish supplements to the register showing all additions or changing. These registers and the supplements were deemed to be the proof that the person whose name are contained therein are registered pharmacist. Last is inspection by the state pharmacy council. The state pharmacy council has been empowered to point suitable number of inspectors having prescribed qualification to inspect premises where drugs are dispensed or compounded. They are required to investigate complaints in respect of contravention of the act. The inspector shall deemed to be public servant within the meaning of section 21 of Indian Penal Code. Now here comes the most important topic on which I have given you the brief that how do we get a registration certificate that is registration of pharmacist that is the main uh, motive of you all who do who are doing your pharmacy course that you will have a registered pharmacist certificate. So, what is the procedure? So, let us see it in detail. The preparation and maintenance of register. The register shall include the following particulars namely the full name, the residential address of the registered person, the date of his first admission to the register, his qualification for registration, his professional address and if he is employed by any person the name of such employer. Such further particulars may be prescribed. Preparation of the first register. Huh. So, here is the point that we have two register namely first register and subsequent register. 
So, he, here we will discuss what is the difference between the first register and the subsequent register. So, we will see it in detail about the first register. For the preparation of the first register, the state government has to constitute a registrational tribunal. And how do we get a registration? So, for that we have a tribunal which consists of three person, a registrar, act as a secretary of the registrational tribunal, tribunal fixes the date on or before which all applications for registration with prescribed fee are accepted. All applications are examined if the application is received on or before the specified date and if satisfied then the applicant is qualified for registration. Any person aggrieved by the decision of the registrational tribunal may appeal within 60 days of publication to the authority appointed by the state government. The registrar amends the register accordingly with the decision of authority and issues a certificate of registration to every person in the prescribed form. So, what are the qualifications for the entry on first register? The application should be at least 18 years old that is minimum age after completing your degree or diploma. Applicant should reside or carries on the business or profession of pharmacy in the concerned state that if you are a residential of UP then you have to go for UP state council or you are of a resident, residential of MP then you have to go for registration in MP. Applicant should hold a degree or diploma in pharmacy or pharmaceutical chemistry or chemist and druggist diploma or qualification granted by authority outside India which is adequate for registration or a degree of an Indian university other than a degree or a diploma in pharmacy or pharmaceutical chemistry with not less than 3 years experience in dispensing in hospital or passed an examination for dispenser recognized by the government or not less than 5 years experience in compounding of drug in hospital or dispensary prior to the date notified by tribunal for the receipt of application for the entry of names on first register. So, going through these points we have seen that doing a B form degree was a major part to apply for your registration certificate. But there are many people who do not who does not have a degree of pharmacy but yet are in the profession of pharmacy. So, for them, for them and for those people we have different norms like over here you can see a 3 years experience in dispensing in hospital or a 5 years experience in compounding of drug that if a person is having this much of experience he can also apply for registration in the council. He can also apply uh, he can also write the application for the state pharmacy council that I am satisfying this condition and norm. So, I am eligible to apply for the registered pharmacist. So, here comes the topic subsequent register. Procedure for subsequent registration. From the registered pharmacist of the first register constitution of the state council takes place. Applications are invited within fixed date addressed to the registrar. If the registrar found, registrar found that applicant has a requisite qualification, he may direct his her name to the enter to be entered in the register. If application has been rejected by the register, he shall may apply appeal to the state council within three months of the rejection. The decision of the state council will be final. Requirements for the subsequent register, applicant should be at least 18 years of age, application should be resident or should carry on the profession of the pharmacy in the concerned state, applicant should have the paid should have paid the prescribed fee. There are three different qualification prescribed on the basis of following that is ER, I have somewhere I have told you to note this word that is ER, ER is education regulation. So, after the preparation of first register and before education regulation take effect, after education regulation take effect and special provision. So, qualifications for such persons were divided in three part. Education regulation was started through 
Pharmacy Act 1948. But there were many people who were holding this profession before that. Or as if we have seen just now, that those person who have not done BPharm or DPharm are also eligible to apply. So for such people, there are three criteria. Criterion that is education regulation before after and some special provision. So, we will see them in detail what are these. After the preparation of first register and before exam education regulation taken effect, tab kya baat hoti hai? satisfies the conditions prescribed by the central council or a registered pharmacist in another state or possesses a qualification for registration granted outside the state and is at least matriculate that is 12th pass. After the education regulations take effect, those who have passed an approved examination, approved examination mein kaun se points aayenge? Wohi saare ki ya to 3 saal ka experience ho ya 5 saal ka experience ho ya degree ho ya diploma ho or those who possess a qualification granted by the authority outside India and recognized by the Pharmacy Council of India or those who are registered pharmacists in another state. So, if you have registered yourself in UP and now you are going to do your business in MP, then you have to remove your name from it. So, these are the special provisions under which you can shift your name. Special provisions kya thi? The names of the displaced person. Displaced person ka hum logo ne definition yaad kiya tha first video mein. So, displaced person kya hote hain? Jo ki जहाँ थे वहाँ नहीं हैं आप कहीं और अपना बिजनेस कर रहे हैं। So the names of the displaced persons who have been carrying on the business or profession of pharmacy as their principal means of livelihood from a date prior to the fourth day of the March 1948 and who satisfy the conditions for the registrations. The names of citizens of India who have been carrying on the business or profession of pharmacy in our country in any country outside India and who satisfy the conditions for the registration. The names of the persons who registered in an area which has subsequently become a territory of India and who satisfy the conditions of registration. The names of person who carry on the business or profession of pharmacy in the state and who have satisfied the condition for registration and had applied for the registration on or before the date appointed but did not get registered for some reasons. A person have been engaged in the compounding of drug in a hospital or dispensary or other place in which drug are regularly dispensed on prescription of medical practitioner for a total period of not less than 5 years prior to the date appointed. 5 years wo experience wala point wahan tha na, wahi same yaha hai. The person who, have, who were included in the register for a state as it existed immediately before 1st day of November 1956 and who by reason of the area in which they resida, resided or carried on The name of the person who resided or carry on the business or profession of pharmacy in the area in which chapter takes effect and any person who desires his name to be entered in the register may appeal to the state. Special provisions, please go through it. These are the repeated points of those I have already discussed and removal of the name from the register. Uh, what are the points at which the registration can be uh, the name of the registered pharmacist can be removed if the name has been entered into the register by error these are the same repeated points so please go through it and if you find some problem then you can contact me renewal fees i have already told you that is a fees that you have to pay to apply for the registration renewal of the registration etc thank you so much